All right, well, thanks, everybody. Have a great day. Oh, hey, Shai. Hey, Scott, how are you doing? Great, I was just about to clean the board up. Oh, you know, normally I'm, I'm okay with that. It's, uh, it's nice for the other class to see what you've been doing, but uh, I've got no idea what you've got over here. Well, you've got three different ways of writing down points. What's going on? It's beautiful, isn't it? Three points. We've got one point here, one, zero, zero. We've got commas, so we know it's a point coordinate. Okay. One in the x, zero in y and z. No enclosure, no brackets or anything, so we know it's a point. It's not referring to a direction or a, or a, a plane. So this is a direction here. We've got one, one, one. So we, you know, if we start with our origin here, zero, zero, zero. The point coordinates of the head of the vector are one, one, and one. We've got our vector. It's beautiful. It's enclosed in square brackets. We know it's a vector. Okay. It's plain. Look at this plane. It's gorgeous. O one O. Well, that makes no sense. What's O one O? Makes so much sense. Okay, we take an origin that's not on the plane, not touching the plane. Travel in the x direction, the y and the z, and find out how long, how, how far we go before we intercept. So in x, I've traveled <coughs> infinitely far, right, along this way. In y, one times that lattice parameter. So we got one there. In z as well, infinite. We don't like infinity. We're, it, it takes too long to write. So we want to simplify things, we're lazy. So we take the reciprocal to get rid of that, that nasty infinity, 0, 1, 0. And then we enclose it in the little parentheses so we know it's a plane. I always, I always find it incredible that you engineers can just divide by infinity and, uh, <laughs> and come up with something. I, I mean, the, the way we do this in linear well, algebra would be completely different. Well, how, how would you do it in linear algebra? Well, I, the, that plane, what we would want to do is we would find the, the normal vector to it, or some normal vector to it. And uh, let's say the, uh, the normal vector that we find is A, B, C. First of all, we're going to write it this way. Then that's the, the arrow is what tells us that what we have is a vector. And then the equation of the plane will be AX plus BY plus CZ is equal to D, where we figure out D by, uh, by plugging in some X, Y, Z value. And, uh, and I think that's it, but, but to, to look at this, I mean, the, the intercept, of it. Let's, let's see if we can figure out what, what the intercepts would be. So first of all, there, there would be the, uh, the x-axis. For the x-axis, uh, I want to take y and z, set them equal to 0. Okay. Uh, because what that gives me is on that diagram, it, it gets rid of the y, gets rid of the z. We're looking just where x meets our plane. And so we have ax is equal to d, so x is equal to d over a. Okay. okay. If we do that, we can do the y-axis, we can do the z-axis. All of this stuff would be similar. We'd end up with y is equal to... Uh, it won't be d over a, it'll be d over b. Okay. And then for the z-axis, we would have the same thing. And z is equal to d over c. Seems okay. uh, a lot more complicated than my approach. But well, no, but it, it, it gives you the, uh, the intercepts. And, okay. and then, and then if, we have, if we have the infinities, that's because uh, a will be equal to 0 and, uh, and c will be equal to Although, although then, then you take the reciprocals. Okay, let's, let's move this guy. So if we look at the reciprocals, you sure about the spelling? I think that's you right. Think yeah, so? that looks okay. right to me. Yeah, all right. Uh, so for the x, we would have a over d. For the y, we would have b over d. And for the z, we would have c over d. And, and, and look at that, look at that, because if, if we take this, if we write that as a vector, this is just a constant multiple of our normal vector. So this, this is normal to the plane, which means, which means that we can plug these guys into our original. We can, we can rewrite it as a over d times x, b over d times y, c over d times z. But then if we divided everything by d, then we divide the right-hand side by d. One. 
And you get just one, yes. Yeah. So, so oh. this thing that you have, this, uh, this is zero, one, zero, is these three guys right here. So that's interesting. In fact, if, if I use my materials notation and I were to write out the 0, 1, 0, or we like to say 0, 1, 0 sometimes, just to be hip, vector, that would be this vector along here that originates at the origin, has a head at 0, 1, 0 for point coordinates, and that's normal to the 0, 1, 0 to plane. The plane. Excellent. So you've got a notation that allows you to write down the point, the vector, and the plane using just these, and you've created the plane in a way where it's, it's not just in the standard form, but the standard form where you're guaranteed for the constant to be 1. So you That's think this uh, is more efficient, actually? Uh, you know what? I hate to say it, but <laughs> this is actually pretty clever. Someone came up with some really nice stuff to put all of this information together. Great. Yeah. You know what? Maybe I'll leave you this You can keep then. this on board. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> good. All right. Well, have a good day. You too. <laughs>